Joining us right now to talk about last night's presidential debate is former Hillary Clinton presidential campaign manager Patty Solis Doyle. She is the head of the Brunswick Group Public Affairs Practice. And uh, Patty, you said you thought Kamala Harris had more to lose and more to win last night. How do you think it turned out? I think she won. I think she won a lot. Uh, look, going into last night's debate, as you mentioned, she had the most to lose because, according to the New York Times Siena poll, 28 percent of voters still wanted to know more about her. And while, you know, both candidates did not put much more specifics to each of their policy agendas last night, what we did learn about Kamala Harris is that she's tough, she's smart, she's ready to lead. She most certainly passed that commander in chief test. She was likable. She was agile. I think voters really got a glimpse of what she would be like um, as president. Um, so I thought she knocked it out of the park, in all honesty. You know, a, a lot of times these debates are relative performances based on the person standing across from you. Um, that was certainly the case with the first debate between former President Trump and President Biden. Um, and, and you saw what happened after that. This was also a case where. Kamala Harris laid a lot of traps, laid a lot of bait, and mm -hmm. President Trump took it. He sure did. Uh, really, from the get-go, from the moment she walked on that stage, walked right up to him, put her, her hand out for him to shake it, which she clearly did not want to do, I think she owned the debate. Um, she started the baiting with the uh, route, you know, the size of his rallies and the energy of his rallies, which I think rattled him and clearly uh, made him angry. You could tell by the sort of volume of his voice, but then kept going, kept going in terms of uh, saying that world leaders laugh at him. They call him a disgrace. Uh, he really just took it at every um opportunity and she really just twisted the knife and i think what i found personally interested sort of as a former practitioner and having prepped many candidates for debates is she compensated for the muted mics by using her facial expressions to sort of uh contrast rather than you know jumping in verbally and at one point she put her you know her her hand under her chin just an amusement. Um, it was really remarkable how she came out on top in this debate, looking uh, amused. You know, stuff like the, angry. I mean, stuff like uh, facial expressions, that's pretty subjective. And, and there were people who were put off by some of the facial expressions. But um, look, what we've been trying to figure out today is how much this matters, if there's a second debate, how, how that will matter, too. Um, you do have entrenched... Uh, bases on each side of this. I guess they're arguing over the undecided voters at this point. How, how do you think that will play out? Will there be a second debate? Because President Trump was on Fox and Friends earlier this morning saying that he thinks he won the debate and uh, he'd, he'd be foolish to take another uh, round, another go at a second round of this, that he wouldn't do it necessarily. Look, that's absolutely right. This country is, com is very much divided. Um, you know, uh, and it's going to be a close race no matter what. And we'll see what the polls say post this debate, whether it moved any needles. For Kamala Harris, she needed to do two things. She needed to make sure that her base, the Democratic base, stayed excited, stayed energetic. I think she accomplished that. And then she also needed to appeal to those moderate, undecided, independent voters. I think she did that as well by, um, you know, uh, 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 reinforcing her position on fracking, citing Goldman Sachs uh, um, about uh, the analysis of her economic plan, touting herself as a gun voter. Um, I think it would be smart for the Harris team to uh, do another debate because I think this is a world stage, uh, a big stage where she will be able to continue to do what she did last night, and that is um, appeal to those moderate voters. I'm not sure uh, if Trump will take the bait this time and accept the challenge, um, but we'll see. Patty, I want to thank you uh, for being with us this morning. Thank you. For